use another one of those oil refill stations, that'd be nice. Well, is this room, right? basically um why they're torturing people and stuff like that is because they're torturing them because they, um they're producing a substance called vitae and vitae actually um will prevent the monster from getting Daniel. Tamper. Human blood, so we got the V tie. And I think I got that part too now. The remains. Another one of these. No oil though. Going in the choir. Concentrate. Paint the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. Please, I didn't 
do anything. Mm -hmm. Paint the man, cut the lines. Paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Um, I can't do anything at the moment. There isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Whoa. Trippy. Was that supposed to happen? Was that scripted? Dude, like I wasn't even running or anything. I was in the middle of a cutscene. And the mother fudger just came out of nowhere. <laughs> like, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go in here. That son of a bitch wanted me dead. scared me. That one got me real bad. Fuck! Oh. Oh. I wasn't fucking expecting that to happen. How many pieces do we have? We got four. We need five more. Don't we need two more?
I need oil. Wait, is this guy still down here? Pretty sure if you die once, they despawn. victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. Okay, I All think we're good. tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Is it dead and I can't do anything? Just hide. still there you can hear one of the ones that don't go away. Oh, he 
He's right there, dude. That's where I came from. It's not that one. We need one more. I think it's on that side over there. Anywho, I lost him, I think. Yes, we got all the pieces. Let's get the fuck out of here. Where's the door? Where's the fucking door? Get me out of here! Let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was like the most horrifying moment of <laughs> the entire game. Because he actually stayed there for a while, this thing, damn. 
to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the dead man. Please, find the ingredients that has a tonic via disguise, and do so before you assemble the ore. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time, unless everything is taken care of before mending the ore. You won't be able to save me. Where do I go to? Where do I go to to produce the tonic? So, um, I guess we can try to go prepare the tonic in the other room. I don't know where I'm preparing it as far as I know. I see that all the all. Am I dead? <laughs> okay, I got dragged. I got dragged and locked in a cell, apparently. So this is what Alexander meant, like he was going to have to stop us, apparently. <laughs> He's in cahoots with the demons. You had me worried. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to do with you. I hold no grudge against you, Daniel. We are so very much the same, you and I. Did you really drink from the amnesia mixture? It does explain so much of your behavior. You never did finish what you set out to do. You talked about redemption, how you would face the orb's shadow and save our work and me. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you.
dead. Finicky as hell. Bucket of water. <sighs> Where do we use said bucket of water? Bucket of water. bucket of water. Yeah, boy, we out. 